Hello, Tim Tetrick, Partner Technology Strategist with Microsoft. And I just want to spend a few minutes today talking with you about the new Azure Migrate service that just went generally available a few weeks ago. So as you're looking to build or extend your Azure practice, it's really important to think about what solutions and what workloads you're going to focus on. And this slide does a really nice job of showing some of the key solutions that we're seeing success with today with our customers and partners. And if you look over here on the left under SMC and SMB, you'll notice that several of these involve migrations. So whether it's uh, Windows or Linux lift and shift migrations, or whether it's a SQL lift and shift migration as part of data platform modernization. Several of these involve migrations. So if you're going to be offering Azure solutions to your customers, you're probably going to be doing a migration at one point or another. So a migration to Azure really uh, involves three distinct phases. Any successful migration project we feel in involves these three phases. Um, first, we look over at the discovery and assess phase. So this is where you're going to be identifying and inventorying your customers' on-premises resources to plan where the Azure migration should start. Uh, next, the migrate phase. So this is the phase where you're going to be leveraging some powerful tools um, that will actually do the migration to get you into Azure while hopefully ensuring minimal business impact to your customer. And then finally, the optimize phase. So uh, just because you've got your customers into Azure, the journey is not over yet. Uh, the optimize phase is where you're going to help your customers fine tune their resources to uh, do things like strengthen security, to improve performance, and to maximize their return on investment. So. We can see here across the discover, migrate, and optimize phases, there's a number of tools that, um, that Microsoft makes available to you. Um, again, we're going to be focusing today here on the Azure Migrate tool, but a number of tools that we can hopefully cover uh, in another session. But in addition to the Microsoft tools, there's also this rich ecosystem of these third-party ISV solutions as well. So, you know, ultimately Microsoft doesn't care what tool you use. We just want to get customers into Azure, but we're helping uh, to make it easy by providing and, and complementing some of the capabilities through some of our own tools. So again, let's focus on Azure Migrate for this session. As I mentioned, Azure Migrate went generally available a few weeks ago. Um, so what is Azure Migrate? What does it do? Well, Azure Migrate helps you uh, with discovery and assessment of on-premises VMs and apps. Um, it has a nice service dependency mapping capability where you can get a nice graphical view of all the different machines and servers that are involved in an application uh, so that you can make sure you're moving everything up to the cloud uh, in an Azure migration. Um, it also involves uh, and, and delivers on workload assessments. So it can help you right size your Azure resources based on the utilization history of the on-premises workload. So you can actually look at what is the utilization of this on-premises workload and then map that into Azure. You know, what, what does that look like for the size of the Azure VM? What does that look like for the, uh, the costs and the monthly runtime costs for that? It can also help um, you with uh, making you aware of migration risks and recommending tools to use for the migration. So we might say, hey, for this workload, we recommend Azure Site Recovery uh, for the migration tool. For this workload, we might recommend the new Azure Database Migration Service. Um, currently, Azure Migrate only supports VMware virtualized Windows and Linux uh, VMs. Now, that's going to be changing in the future, but today, the current support uh, around that is just VMware virtualized Windows and Linux VMs. The tool, however, great story, free for all customers and partners. Now, quickly, let's look at the roadmap and some of the future investments that we're making in this tool. So, certainly in the future, we'll see Hyper-V and physical server discovery and assessment come to this tool. If you need that today, that's where you might want to lever leverage a third-party tool such as um, uh, Cloudomize, for example. 
We're also going to see with this tool built-in migration. So today Azure Migrate does discovery and assessment, but in the future we're going to see the migration phase and even the optimize phase uh, integrated into that single tool. So you'll be able to have one tool, Azure Migrate, ultimately to do discovery and assessment, migrate and optimize. So here's some of the resources that you can take advantage of around Azure Migrate to get started. Um, you see I have links to the overview, pricing, documentation. Um, there's a nice little Azure Migrate demo video here, a nice little five minute demo video just to kind of get you started. And then ultimately, I think a great way to get started is to leverage this Azure Migrate hands-on lab. So this is a remote desktop, self-contained lab environment that you and your teams can connect to. And it'll step you through with a nice little script on getting hands-on experience with the Azure Migrate service. So hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks very much for listening and watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.